I just created a um, new deck called Mana Attacker, and I really wanted to show off the build. Like, I'm super excited to show it off. So, um, hopefully, <laughs> we do well in this game. Uh, hopefully, we have good teammates. So, we look like we've got Greystone going right. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, I don't know. I'm not super confident in my team because we don't have a mage right now. We don't have a mage, and I don't know what they're doing. I really, 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 really don't. So, um, hopefully they know what they're doing. But, uh, so Mana Attacker is a build that focuses on uh, building up mana and using it to lock down and kill my opposition. Alright, so let's see. See, this is the, um, probably one of the shittiest parts about, um, about this is choosing the deck. It takes so long. Alright, I am really interested, always interested in a gray stone that goes with the carry. It uh, makes little sense to me why we're going to have Wukong to Run at Gideon. I set you up good. I can't do it in my current state. Shit. 
thought I hit it. Oh, really? Way to blow that. They're both missed. That was super shitty. Oh, not trying to die. Not trying to die.
You had to reload. Ah, fuck. How can they not hold anything? Like, seriously? I'm starting to get really fucking frustrated.
Right there, you see it. I had them turned around. Rookie mistake. Rookie, 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 rookie. All right. So. Mm. Now you still do build up eight agility in this deck, um, just because of the. Uh, card here that it was allied inhibitor good lord the um, OPD militia card that um, you slot in does need Agility, but you're not going to get um, any more than that. You're really going to focus on that uh, intellect tree for this build.
put in one too many, but that's fine. It's not like it matters anyways, we're about to storm the core. I just really wanted to send, um, that we're actually going to activate it. So as you see, basic attacks are taking mana. But, um, basic attacks will deal 100 extra ability damage. So it costs 25 mana. So not bad. We do have um, 2.4 mana regen. We'll be getting more. See how fast he's inside? Should have just made a big attack against the uh, core. What is Wakong doing? Just standing there. Revenant is pretty strong, and he has those abilities, but that reload really gets him. It is uh, not a pleasant thing for a... Alright, so also in the deck we have Thermitage, uh, Sleeper Agent, and Gritting Spectre. So, um, if we were having um, some difficulties... Uh, making headway and we ended up later game we have some some options there yeah. Yeah, that's why I figured you have to activate it and then you see a little a uh, little bit of glow on yourself just to let you know that it's active not active active And that's that. Um, so it is now. I get it. That team was kind of eh. Um, however, the beauty of the new system is you don't have to build one thing for any one character. Like I can take that deck. And it'd probably be fantastic on a um, Chimera. Now I don't, I don't much enjoy playing Chimera personally, so it's not going to go on a Chimera for me. But the options there, um, with a Rampage, with a Sparrow, just imagine that build with a Sparrow. All that ma mana, that hundred ability damage. You've seen how much it was just eating away. Because not only am I doing basic attack, I'm doing ability. Uh, damage too, which is a completely different armor. So they see a Gretsch, they're like, I have to build basic armor if they're going to build armor. And then I come up and smack them with ability damage, and they're like, what? Now the only thing that would make that deck better, the only thing, and I think I might slot it in just because. Um, oh, I got box Grex. That's what I was seeing in the uh, corner community. Uh, reached its goal. Alright. 
Uh, we have one more goal to reach to get the deluxe box, I think. Or maybe that's a purchased one, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, one last thing I might slot in on a mana attacker. Oops. Ah, I'm so used to hitting square. Is cryo agent. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to slot it in. I'm not sure how much it'll get used. But uh, cryo agent, <coughs> after using an ability, your next basic attack will deal 125 ability damage in an area and slow the move speed of a target for 1.5 seconds. So I do the grab and pull, swing, do the um, double pane, swing, do the ultimate swing. I've just done 125 ability damage times three. I've kept them slowed and in my vicinity. Plus I have on the OPD militia, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice card that I'm slotting in. Now it does take a uh, bit more vitality, or I'm sorry, agility, but um, not bad actually. Uh, I can decide whether I want to put it in, you know, depending on how it's going. If I'm uh, having trouble keeping people in my vicinity, it's, it's, uh, it's a really good card to have. Um, better on a melee attacker, I think, than, um, say, Sparrow or something. Just because, um, you know, it, it's nice to have that. Uh, it, it is a burst of ability damage, by the way, on that, uh, on the Cryo Agent. Basic damage will deal, your next basic attack will deal 125 ability damage in an area. So it's nice on, say, a sparrow or something, but um, meh. It's not, it's not really essential on a, a sparrow as it would be a, um, a Grux, who you know you're going to hit that basic attack with. Or, you know, just any melee. It's better on a melee, but it's there. Um, I'm slotting it in. I feel like uh, I could use it. So that's that's the deck. That's a fight with the deck. Yeah, that's all there is to it. If you like what you've seen, subscribe. There's definitely going to be more. Um, give me a like. Give me some comments. Let me know uh, what you might, what crazy ideas you might have. So, thanks for watching.